sometimes albums transcend time. And ZZ Top's third studio album, Trace Hombres, is no exception to the rule. Today, we'll go back in time, 50 years, and look at that little old band from Texas, big hit that put them on the map. Oh, how, oh, how, oh, how, oh, how. Oh. Turn back the clock to 1973. I give you ZZ Top's Trace Hombres album. Fire up the old record player. Bus, Jesus Just Left Chicago, Beer Drinkers and Hellraisers, Master of Sparks, Hot Blue and Righteous, Move Me On Down the Line, Precious and Grace, Lagrange Chic, and Have You Heard. <laughs> As you analyze the album cover, which is quite dated and probably from a 1973 pressing, you'll see Billy Dusty and Frank hanging out in various capacities. But we do have a little Texas pride of our favorite three-piece band with the long beard. Back here, we have what I would consider an illustration of a bull. It's got long horns and some cattle. The bull is steaming nacho cheese, queso, we call it, in Tex-Mex food. It's produced by London Records in the fine Texas tradition. As we open up the album book, here's a awesome moment of truth. This is how you know these guys are men after my own heart. We've got a giant plate of Mexican food, some cold brewskis, a hula girl, nachos. It's just a big elaborate piece. And the fact that they went so far to include this inside their album just makes me happy. I spy some enchiladas, some tacos, plenty of cheese. Now with my cheap sunglasses, I've got a plate of Tex-Mex to enjoy. Corn on the cob, some guacamole taco salad kind of thing going on here. Maybe some sour cream. Chili peppers and lemons and limes. Maters, as we'd call them around here. Nice rose. So we pull out the album booklet. See some more shots of the band. Got guns, power plants. Got some Schlitz beer there. And then the actual album, a traditional stereophonic London records album. I would say the most known song on this for those that might go out and look it up would be La Grange, track number three. Mercy. Very familiar lick there. Beyond that, there's some really good ones that shine. I like Move Me On Down the Line. Have you heard? Kind of has almost a gospel sound to it. <laughs> Waiting for the bus and Jesus Just Left Chicago really are two tracks that go hand in hand with one another and the band plays them live together that way too. Hot Blue and Righteous is another one that has a classic, I don't know if I'd call it gospel, but just a 
very slow and calming blues sound and the vocals are really tender for lack of a better word and these guys voices are really scratchy so it's nice to hear that producer terry manning contributed significantly to the album distinctly helped to shape the boogie rock blues sound that catapulted the band through the 70s and well into the 80s one of the most interesting things worthy of discussion would be the band's decision in the 80s after their stardom and peak popularity really took center stage with the MTV boom. It was their decision to add a bunch of digital reverb to tracks from the Trace Hombres master tapes. That actually left a 20 year period of time where this album was drenched in a reverb that just sound unnatural. Thankfully in 2006, they were able to revert back in most digital copies and CD copies now released at this point have the original sound. No drum reverb, no guitar reverb, none of that extra nonsense that muddied the sound of the band's classic stripped down blues time boogie that they're known and famous for. The album review that you didn't ask for and that I didn't prepare for is Easy Tops, Tres Hombres, Be Amazed. And if you're not amazed, that's okay too because I own this and you don't. Z, Z, top!